Set in the center of southern Alberta, the municipal district of Tabor is a large, thriving rural area made up of farms, acreages, and smaller hamlets, and is home to a diverse population of about 7,200 people. My name is Merrill Harris, Reeve of the municipal district of Tabor. Our 4,200 square kilometer region of prime agricultural farmland and unbroken native grasses is suitable for farming or ranching. Thanks to a precise mix of soil, temperature, irrigation, infrastructure, and sunlight, the MD of Tabor has become Canada's top high value specialty crop producing area, specializing in hemp, potatoes, sugar beets, onions, vegetables, seed canola, and others, including our famous Tabor corn. This also favors our location as one of the best solar resource areas in Canada. Currently, there are about 9,600 oil and gas wells in the MD of Tabor. The recent recession in the fossil fuel industry has resulted in a massive increase in orphaned wells across Alberta. Bankruptcies in the oil and gas sector have resulted in numerous orphaned wells, increasing from 75 to over 4,900 in just a few short years. The MD of Tabor itself holds title to over 83,000 acres of land containing 570 oil and gas wells, yet only about a third of those wells are still producing. Abandoned oil wells pose serious environmental and financial headaches for the farmers who have them on their lands. Some companies failing to meet service lease obligations leave many landowners feeling frustrated. Weeds and unwanted vegetation burden landowners with the responsibility of weed control on lease sites. If left unattended, spreading weeds could create loss of crops, food safety concerns, and increased fire hazards and liability. Across Alberta, municipalities are owed more than $245 million in unpaid property taxes from oil and gas producers. Challenges like this require an innovative approach. Partnering with Renew Well Energy Solutions may help turn these obstacles into an opportunity by creating a framework that transitions oil and gas liabilities into assets for the renewable energy sector and farmers. My name is Keith Hershey. I am the founder and president of Renew Well Energy Solutions. The Renew Well project, which utilizes abandoned wells as brownfield sites for solar development is a result of my 40 years of experience working in the energy industry. The solutions we offer can be applied to orphan wells or to operating fields in need of reducing operating and power costs. Renewal has been working with the Municipal District of Tabor in consulting with landowners, the irrigation community, utilities, oil and gas companies, regulators, and renewable energy developers to repurpose inactive oil and gas sites into community-owned small-scale solar projects. This approach takes advantage of the existing leases, power lines, and roads that are needed for solar development. The Renewal Well Project will expedite the reclamation of non-economic or orphan wells, providing benefits to oil and gas producers, the Surface Rights Board, the Orphan Well Association, and landowners, while reducing costs for lease reclamation and relieving competition for agricultural lands. Utilizing this new initiative, a single two hectare site could generate enough electricity to power 60 irrigation pivots using 50 horsepower pumps, or the equivalent of powering up to 230 homes for a year while saving over 1,000 tons of CO2 and greenhouse gas emissions. The projects will also create an ongoing property tax revenue stream for the Municipal District of Tabor. In 2021, the Renew Well project will convert two orphaned well locations into two megawatts of solar generation capacity. One of these sites is located on the Molnar Farm, southwest of Tabor. My name is James Molnar of Molnar Farms. We are a specialty grower of corn, pumpkins, and other vegetables on 800 acres in the MD of Tabor. The Renew Well project provides an opportunity for our farm to utilize a chronically contaminated oil and gas leaf site and convert it to an alternate energy site that will benefit our farm. I'm Trevor Hellig, Technical Services Manager at the St. Mary River Irrigation District. IRICAN is the irrigation canal power co-op owned by the St. Mary River, Tabor and Raymond Irrigation Districts. IRICAN owns and operates three small hydro plants on the St. Mary Main Canal and is excited to be branching out into solar as well. 
IRCAN sees the financial benefits of these small-scale community solar developments as an excellent investment that will support our irrigation district infrastructure. The projects will provide low-cost power to the grid at peak demand during the irrigation season, with our ultimate goal of being lower costs to our water users. Thanks to the Municipal Climate Change Action Centre, a collaboration between the Alberta Urban Municipalities Association, Rural Municipalities of Alberta, and the Government of Alberta, the Renewal Project received a $2.1 million investment for its successful application to the Municipal Community Generation Challenge, a program delivered in partnership with Alberta Innovates. IRICAN is contributing $1.5 million and will be the owner and operator of these particular solar generation projects. Canadian Solar and Skyfire Energy will be coordinating the installations, with Canadian Solar providing up to $700,000 of in-kind funding. The economic spin-off from the Renewal project has the potential to provide many employment and capital investment opportunities in southern Alberta. A not-for-profit organization, Iron and Earth, is partnering with Medicine Hat College to develop a five-day training program to enable oil and gas and Indigenous workers to learn the basics of solar before successfully performing reclamation and site transformations. The Renewal Project demonstrates how repurposing legacy oil and gas infrastructure to community solar development can provide significant benefits to energy industries, Alberta farmers, the environment, and the economy. The widespread deployment of this concept will position Alberta as a worldwide leader in energy diversification.